Hello viewers, here is a Uniden 900 megahertz analog cordless phone, model EXP 7900. The base is natively wall mountable. Whoops, I just turned those informations upside down. The adapter is a DC 9 volts center positive at 210 milliamps. The outlet is way back here. Just reset the security code. The original battery was made by GPI, so I suspect I could revive it at some point, but I couldn't get it to take a charge. So I put one of my extra batteries in there at the moment. This one is actually from 1998, I guess October, and that means this is almost 24 years old. So, almost 24, and basically the only wear and grime is around Flash and 3. It's pretty incredible. Even the antenna is actually still quite rubbery and flexible. There's no corrosion. The battery's not corroded. The antenna is not rusted out or anything. So this phone is overall in pretty good condition. I believe it was in desk mount mode when I got it. It actually came with the original box, which is quite large and blurry. There we go. The sticker that was on the handset is still present, just on the box. The box is actually in surprisingly good condition. I suspect this was caused during shipping, although I'm not sure, because this was packaged inside two mailer bags, no other boxes or anything, which admittedly isn't really out of line, considering all the interior packaging is present, even the part that went around the antenna, and this piece of paper that went around the handset. So, from the seller's point of view, this undoubtedly would have been enough packaging to protect the phone, and they didn't need to pack it inside of an external box. <clears throat> and this is actually kind of a neat design, because it just uses this paper tab that interlocks with these slits, instead of having to use extraneous tape. Here's the page feature. As you can see, the talk and battery light works just fine. You can actually hear quite a lot of side tone if I turn it up and don't have the line connected. That's a good amount of side tone anyway, even with the line connected, which I'll go ahead and do. Oh, before that, here is the tone and pulse switch. It's on tone, which is what it was on when it came to me. Okay. All the buttons seem to be working just fine.
Thank you. Five seven six seven two six seven six is not in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. Thank you. It does sound a little bit distorted. I don't really know why, but um, I guess that could be a function of either just the phone itself or perhaps the receiver capsule is going bad. Either way, it's still perfectly usable for me. But pause. It's quite a long pause, well. Wow. Redial. Yeah, that works. Oh, and it didn't, oh, there it goes, okay. And, Let's see, channel. You can see the talk light flashes. See if flash works. Yep. Now let's see, I think you can program the memories if you're on standby mode by pressing the memory button. Yeah. And then I think these are supposed to be shortcuts, so th these are dial shortcuts in instead of their own memory locations. It automatically turned on. And yep, there's memory one. Let's see if I reprogram it. Yep. So I think that's about it for the functionality. It's a pretty, pretty good phone. Whoops, <laughs> just pulled on the phone line cord. It's not quite long enough to reach the camera over here. Let's see if I can move this up. Okay, so now I'll record a testing message. I have to use the voicemail system, so we'll have to listen to it on this phone as well. Okay, here's the message. First new voice message received today at 6. 13 p.m. This is a testing message on the Uniton EXP 7900. Here's how it sounds when it changes the channel. That channel changing sound is always something I've been fascinated by. Oh, and here's the original phone line cord, I think. Well, actually, I'm not sure if this is original because, well, the color matches decently well. It's pretty long for a factory cord. I think this, this, this has to be at least eight feet long. Yeah, I guess it could be original. Well, anyway, that does it for this video. Actually, it doesn't. I forgot to show you the ringtones. This one actually does not have the regular flicker and clatter, but rather the slightly pitch shifted down flicker and clatter, like this. <coughs> flicker isn't really that much, but clatter definitely is. Okay, now that's good for this video. So thank you for watching, and you can leave a comment if you have one.